Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My John Readings. This reading will be for my Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the upcoming week of January 13th, 2020. Um, we still are, you should, probably are still being impacted by the eclipse energy, so uh, keep that in mind. Also, on the January 13th, um, Venus enters Pisces, which Venus governs everything having to do with like romance and things of that nature. So be careful because we are knee deep in cuffing season for a lot of people. I don't know if y'all feel about that life. Um, and just with Venus being in Pisces, I really wouldn't trust <laughs> um, any romantic situations that just come out of the blue or just kind of seem too good to be true right about now. So just just use your intuition, right? I don't want to discourage you, but I just want to let you know to be aware. What are the major things for my Earth signs for the upcoming week of January 13th, 2020, please? last week was rough but it was rough on a lot of people with the eclipse going on so i mean like i said i told y'all last week what we really waiting on which is the end of january the 25th okay so angel number 265 look it up earth sign see if it resonates with you first card y'all got is commence i love this new beginnings right i don't even have to say no more right you are triumphing over your obstacles you standing tall you are basically kicking ass and taking names <laughs> for lack of a better phrase like you are poised you ready for success two wine sword so you could be in your head a lot um which makes sense after last week the sword is about cutting things off or making sacrifices right making two out of one this could also be about seeing two sides of an issue right both sides of the coin we'll see when we clarify and then with the six circles peach <laughs> romance what did i tell you love she's about feminine energy feminine beauty creativity self-expression right abundance because she has two peaches she's a younger girl this is a younger energy very nurturing particularly as it pertains to family so we definitely gotta you might have to cut somebody off might have to cut off a young girl um or make a sacrifice for ooh swords you got two of them and right underneath each other a sacrifice for love but be careful if you are signing up to sacrifice for love this week because remember i told you venus is moving into pisces so you might be making a sacrifice that you end up regretting right because it the person not end up, ends up being not what you think they are or the connection right may not be what you think they are so maybe the person does end up being amazing but it's like wait they didn't really want anything this was going nowhere or they thought it was this and i wanted this so and it ain't that <laughs> eight bamboo mushroom so all about karmic cycles ending right but ironically because with the moon it's about karmic cycles ending this being under the commence card though is like you might be beginning new cycles, which is good because once you let something go, that's the only way that you can start something else. It's unconventionality. So Mercury moves into Aquarius on the 16th. Very interesting because this is an Aquarian card, right? Expecting the unexpected, innovation, things that uh, are unconventional, right? So you could be starting some unconventional new beginnings, which is good because of last week, right? You had to let a lot go. Two wine sword again. So it looks like y'all just doing stuff a whole new way. Like Earth Signs, I feel like y'all are just switching it up. Like y'all could be changing your hair. Like y'all could be just really your wardrobe, something. Like I just want a whole new me. Because typically Earth Signs are very grounded, very stable. And with the sun is still in Capricorn. But with all of the other energies that are opposing it, I can see y'all just being like, okay, it's time to switch it up. Which is good because the universe is welcoming that. With the white card, they letting you know that you are protected some of y'all are cutting off some divine ties some of y'all are making some divine sacrifices Ooh, for your new beginnings so maybe if it's a new beginning in work right you have to move to a new place right it's something that you have to give up it's something that you wouldn't have expected to have given up or to have to give up or something that is hmm that you may not be necessarily wanting to give up but it's going to work to your benefit and it's something that you it's a decision that only you can make and that you will have to make so that's the good news so then you have nine bamboo willow interesting that this comes after the 
mushroom, which comes after the commence card, right? The new beginnings. So nine bamboo mushroom is about wrapping things up, completions. The th crazy thing is that I've had to redo this reading um, like three times now, maybe more than that. And the same cards, the same messages come up in different cards. So I love that. But all about this this energy of completion and completion of karmic cycles completion of maybe even a work project then you got the west card interesting talking about what you're trying to accomplish right you're gonna have to make a sacrifice either you're sacrificing for somebody or for your goals what you're trying to do your objectives the the energy is there like i mean it's undeniable both of these swords underneath each other like it's there's a sacrifice that has to be made and you, that's how you start your blank slates, right? But then we come into these endings. So something that you have to let go of, that's what the sacrifice involves, and that's why you're dragging your feet because in order to make the sacrifice, something has to be let go in order for something to be gained. The beautiful thing is that, look, after you make the sacrifice for this person or for this your goal, look, you got the one, one bamboo peacock, all about these new beginnings, starting a cycle right over again. I love that. And with success because that's what she's about and maturity a clearer mind so it's like once you let go of what you're supposed to let go of you make the sacrifice you come out ahead you can't come out clearer you come out more confident more in tune with yourself just more level-headed the peacock is good she's success like you've learned something now you know you're a better person oh i like that okay I'll take it. This is a much better reading this week for y'all than last week to be to be 100. You want me to keep it that way. So you got the four one loot. Four is about balance and stability, right? But in happiness, in joy, doing what you want to do. Healing. I told you that. With the eight bamboo mushroom, right? Thinking outside of the box. Remember, Mercury is about to be in Aquarius. Talk, communicate outside the box. But communication is what? It's everything. It's not just how you talk or how you write. It's how you dress, right? Is that not your way, your soul's way of communicating with the world? Everything you do is a form of communication. So infuse it with joy and happiness and quirkiness because that's what Aquarians are all about. These healing, you're healing. It looks like you're healing the old way of doing something so that you can step into a more joyful, more happy way. Look at this, this peach. Some of y'all could have an, a situation where it's a younger woman, an older man as well. And maybe he's the, he's a musician or he actually is the, the call, the bringer of wisdom, right? And joy. And she's the breadwinner. A, eh? it can happen or vice versa, depending on the energies as well. It doesn't have to be an older male. It could be an older woman, but with masculine energy. Then you got the six wine fire. So underneath the West card and with the peach, I feel like, again, this is somebody else. The sacrifice that you have to make, um, could cause a little bit of drama right because they of course they don't want to be let go or even if this is a goal right there could call it could cause you some upset or some stress because it's something that you this is a hard decision that you got to make yeah i got two of the swords it's only four in deck of how many cards 144 right how many times do i say that one but just to emphasize the the odds the statistics of it so this is sacrifice it may cause you a little grief but guess what the message again success south i told you that with the peacock card that's beautiful and that's all clarifying this peach the abundance the happiness the love the joy right burning away things that no longer serve you some of you could be dealing with the fire sign that you got to get rid of too leo aries sagittarius right or just being stressed out because this is a sacrifice that you have to make and it's a decision that only you can make and you know that but look what happens at the end nothing but success beauty joy everything works out in your favor earth signs so i don't know what you're waiting for <laughs> just do it like nike all okay so <laughs> we are back to the fortune teller cards surprise surprise and we are going to start this week with let me just shuffle shuffle Virgo six of diamonds all right Virgo what y'all got going 
So diamonds are about money and career and traveling, which makes sense. I bet this has something to do with your career because that's what the general reading was about, about making a sacrifice. Okay, so passion. Okay. All right, Virgo. You may consider taking a current relationship further or renewing an acquaintance with someone from your past. Think twice. You will meet charming, chatty new friends. An impending change of scenery will be either temporary or permanent. In June, you will travel to where, the, where there is water. Reverse. You may make money ingeniously. So what did I tell you? This makes sense. You're talking about, I told you, with Venus moving into Pisces, be careful of people that you meet. Be careful of any love interest that just slides in your DM or slides into your life this week, right? Because we know that that how Pisces rolls. Sorry, y'all. The wind started blowing. We know how Pisces roll, right? I told you that. An impending change of scenery will be either temporary or permanent. I also told you that as an earth sign in general, you could feel like you just want to do things a different way. You want to shake stuff up, right? You want to um, just switch it all up, and that's fine. You could also make money in a non-conventional way. I told you that ingeniously. So this is beautiful, but just be on alert. Be on alert for any love offers this week. I'm telling y'all. Everything else is looking good. Your life is looking up. Everything is, is getting better for y'all. But just know. <laughs> know what it is and what it ain't, right? Taurus. So y'all got the four of hearts. kind of deep i couldn't find it okay four of hearts towards uh a strong partnership your relationship may result in the birth of two children two couples or two parents and two children will have cause to celebrate if your relationship experiencing a rough patch faith and patience will see you through the next four weeks four months or until april when matters improve reverse unsupported friends and family bring sudden offers of help or admiration oh well that's a good thing that's a good thing so strong partnership now remember there was a younger girl or younger feminine energy and an older man that could be the partnership that they're talking about this partnership also i feel like hearts usually signify love and that's fine but there was a heavy emphasis on business and commerce right in your reading so this could be a strong um work partnership as well that involves um for people or a team effort right but remember the sacrifice that you have to make too so in work it could be that you have to make the sacrifice of working by yourself on a project in order to work with other people or something of that nature unsupported friends and family bring sudden offers of help or admiration that's a beautiful thing that is that unconventionality that is that mercury moving into aquarius right suddenly people that you wouldn't even vibing with want to be on your team so i'll take that i'll take it And last but not least, Capricorn, Queen of Spades. Oh, interesting. An unscrupulous woman. All right, Capricorn. A dangerous female gold digger could disrupt your plans. She may be widowed, divorced, or unhappily married. You need to keep safe from destructive forces, especially in October and November. And remember, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Wow. Reverse. A cunning woman who creates conflict and gossip may be a dangerous enemy. This is deep. I'm kind of sweet to this Capricorn because I ain't never seen this card like this. Um, so we talked about in the general reading about love. So be careful if you are a man or if you are a female um, with someone with feminine energy coming at you. I told you. And you might think it's about romance, but they have other plans. They could be on some um, gold digging stuff. I mean, the card just said it. Also, um, hell had no fear like a woman scorned. So be careful with that too, with Mercury moving into Aquarius. Because Aquarius don't care. It's all about being fun and, and free hearted and unconventional and stuff like that. So if you step on the wrong toes this week, particularly with the person who you are in a romantic situation with, it can backfire. That's how I read that one. Also, um, you don't want to make this person your enemy. Like, I just get that there's a woman who may or may not have your best interests in mind, 
um, you need to use your intuition with that. I told you that. And just be careful not to, even if you see that she's not right, even if she's a sacrifice that you have to make, the person that you have to cut off, do it in a tactful way. Bam. That's what it is. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Our times. Peace out.